Playground AI is still one of the best AI ad generators that you can use for free. They've got a really easy user interface. You don't need to be a master of prompting. They've got a ton of really good templates that are specifically designed for print and demand sellers. You get commercial rights on all of your designs, even on the free plan, which lets you generate up to 15 images every three hours. Not every day, but every three hours, which is super amazing. And since I last made a video about Playground, they've been adding a lot of new features to both the free and the pro plan, which I'm going to go over in this video. But first of all, let me reassure you about the commercial usage rights, even on the free plan, because last time it wasn't that obvious and people are always a bit unsure about it. So now they've updated the pricing page says free right here zero dollars a month and there's a check mark next to use image commercially i've also spoken to their team about this and this is definitely the case you could even use the templates as they are commercially just download them without changes i don't recommend doing that because anyone can do that and you're not really offering anything unique to the marketplace but that's how far the extent of commercial use goes right here even on the free plan and yeah as, as i said you get 15 images every three hours on the pro plan if you do the monthly billing that goes up to 75 images which is really good and this also includes their background remover and their upscaler there's no like credit system those are unlimited the only thing Thing that is limited is how many images you can generate per three hours which i think is really cool because some of these tools with all of their different credit systems and every feature using different credits can be very confusing at least in my opinion so this is kind of designed to be as easy as possible to use for everyone getting into this space and the annual billing actually has 120 images every three hours which is worth noting because it's, it's cheaper right it comes out at 12 dollars a month and you get more images that you can generate every three hours they also have an app i just clicked in the bottom left right here if you prefer creating designs on the go on your phone rather than on the laptop or pc then this is also something worth testing out so the first obvious change and sort of new addition to playground ai is that they've added a lot of new categories right here in the create tab we used to already have the the t-shirts stickers posters the invites all of this before but now at the bottom we also have coloring book pages phone case covers mugs hats and spotify album covers so there's a lot of new categories that are all very useful for pod but minus maybe the the spotify album covers and uh, let me just show you a few quick examples so coloring book pages right here there's tons and tons of templates many of which are free the difference you can tell this by their little pro badge right here so the ones that have that pro badge you can only access them in the pro plan but as you can see there's there's tons of variety right here for the free plan as well and if i go back to the phone covers there's a lot of really nice designs in this too you've got a ton of patterns right here then there's some like more three-dimensional looking things you've got nature themed all sorts of cool things now as usual you can filter at the top and they now also have seasonal filters added to this which i think is really cool so if i go back let me show you the t-shirt category right here where they've they've added a ton of new templates really nice looking templates that are really on trend as well like some of these simple one color retro designs right here that are very popular at the moment they've added templates for them into playground which is great this design style has also become quite popular with the kind of the lightning effect and this like over the top uh, um, sort of reflective text so it's cool that they're adding templates regularly to stay on trend and, and give us what's currently popular in many different niches but the categories at the top is what i wanted to talk about so now you have these seasonal filters right here which will change depending on when you're using playground at the moment they have st patrick's day so if i click on this we'll filter out all the st patrick's day designs that they currently have and they'll keep this updated for the next kind of popular t-shirt holiday or print and demand holiday in terms of sales so as you can see there's a bunch of templates right here that you can easily click into and then change the graphic or the text so for example if you really like this template over here just click on it and then you can now say what do you want to change in this case i probably just want to change the text and i wanted to say one lucky nurse for example and then hit create on this and now we also see one of the new upgrades at least to the i think this might be limited to the pro plan where you get four options now so if you don't like the first result you can click through and see some other versions of this regenerated design right here i think i prefer this one a one lucky nurse and they've also added some new cool stuff up here where you now have a race object button so let's say we don't like some of these uh, clovers down here because they got slightly messed up 
what you can do is click on erase object and then you've got a slider for the size of your brush. And so if I turn this other way up, it'll be very huge. If you want more control, make it smaller. And then you can draw over little objects that you don't want in the design. So let's say I want to get rid of these things right here. And then I can just click erase on this right hand side. And there we go. That's tidied up the design very, very easily right here. They've now also added the ability to add text to your design. And so if you want an easy, a quick bit of text added without having to regenerate the entire thing, you click on this and then you can change the text style right here, which is the font, but at the moment you can't really see it. So let me change the color. I'll pick um, one of the greens right here from the other text and let me actually move this down uh, to the bottom. There we go. So let's say you wanted to add something quickly down here, like ESD 2025, for example, then you can do that with this little new text tool. You've got the alignment right here, as well as the text style. So if you want to get a more suitable font, you can click through the ones right here. I think this one probably suits this design the best. And there we go. That's very easily added a little bit of extra text right there. You can also add images. This is going to be more relevant if you want to have a personalized design or you want to add your, your logo to something, maybe one of the album covers for Spotify, for example, you can add an image right here. And now they also have this new change colors feature right here beforehand we just had apply style now if you click on change colors you've actually got a ton of presets that you can also access in the free plan of these really cool looking color schemes some of them might look familiar from like popular t-shirt design styles that you see selling regularly so there's a lot of variety right here if you're looking for a specific color scheme you can click on it and have the entire design kind of regenerated in that new color scheme really really nice if you're on the pro plan you can also add a custom one so if you have something specific in mind, you can actually, whoops, I should, I should have clicked add custom down here. You can actually click into this and then start filling this out with a new set of color swatches. So yeah, really cool new features right here to essentially make it easier to affect your existing templates and make them match whatever feel you're looking for. Now, this one right here, this design, let's say we're done with it. I can now click on export and you've got the download option right here. If you're on the on the free plan and then you would have to you know, go to a different background remover upscaler to get this to be print ready. I've got a bunch of videos about that on my channel. If you're on the pro plan, then you've got three options down here. You can either upscale and remove background in one go. You can upscale it by 4X and then download it or remove background, which gives you multiple options. So let me just quickly demonstrate this right here, because if you hit upscale and remove background, that's really cool because it does both in one step, but you don't have multiple options in terms of what the background should look like. So um, let me just click on remove background so you understand what I mean. This takes a few seconds to generate. Right, and here we go. Now you can choose your preferred result. If we look at the first one, there's still a lot of background left over. It looks kind of foggy. The second one looks better or Already. I think that's actually a pretty decent result. Some of the like clovers and stars got erased too. That's not, not a big issue. This one isn't great. That still has a little bit of background in between the arches. And this one on the right hand side also looks really good and usable. So it's between the second and the fourth. And it's nice that it gives you this option because sometimes I've found that you know the first result's best or the third result is best. It's not always exactly the same. It's dependent on what your design is like, how complex, what the background color is, etc. So in this case, I'd probably go with the last result right here and then you can download the design and get it upscaled somewhere else when you click upscale by forex now it still for some reason adds a background to the image i've told them about this and i'm guessing they probably change it by the time this video comes out or by the time you're watching this so you could probably in future also hit upscale right here and have it then turned into a higher quality png alternatively if i just go back one step let me show you the upscale and remove background in one button. So if I click on this, just do both at once. You just can't always guarantee that it has the, you know, the perfect background remove model selected right here for this step. So let's see what it comes out with. So there we go. That actually did a pretty good job. It took a little bit longer, but now we've got an image of 4,000 by 4,000 pixels and the background has been removed quite effectively all at the click of one button. And then I can click download upscale right here to get that saved on my device. You also get the option to share it with the community. However, in that case, it will then be public. So be aware of that if you don't want your designs to be included 
um, within the categories right here in Playground. Speaking of the community, let me give you another bonus tip. So let's say you really like this template right here and you want to amend it or use it for your own workflow. If you click into this, it will pop up the Explore tab on the right hand side. You can also hide this and reveal it at a later point. But essentially what this shows you is a lot of similar templates. So it will have similar graphics to yours, similar phrases, like we've got sarcasm reappearing right here and similar design styles. And it's really worth it looking through this in case you find a template that's more suitable for what you are trying to create. And on top of that, you also have the community tab where you can see other people that have used the same template and you can find inspiration of what to do next. Some people have changed the phrase right here. Some people have changed the graphic in the middle to something completely different. But yeah, if you get stuck doing a design process, the explore tab can be extremely helpful. Now let me make a few changes to this design right here just as another demonstration. So you could say change text to say um, hold on let me overthink this. I could also say add a wine glass perhaps to the woman's hand and then we'll hit create on this and see what it comes up with and here we go now we've got four results again uh, some different layouts i quite like the text layout right here because it's a bit easier to read than the the arched one however this this graphic definitely looks really nice and if you want to be more specific with the layout you can do as well like you can carry on making changes to this and say you know have hold on let me at the top and overthink this at the bottom, for example, and then the graphic more centrally. But as you can see, you get a bunch of good results and it's, it's nice that the pro plan has multiple results because sometimes you still get some mistakes. It is AI after all, but yeah, nevertheless, one more quick tip I want to give you is uh, if you go back to create up here, don't just limit yourself to the t-shirt category, even if you are designing t-shirts, because if you click into mugs, for example, which is a new category, you're going to find a lot of really good templates that would also work very well on t-shirts on top of that use the filters at the top right here so they have so many different filters cute animals mum life pop culture geek stuff pet humor fitness goals so look through these look at the seasonal categories like springtime st patrick's day which are constantly changing and the new tab is also going to be good because here you will find brand new templates that have just been added and probably not too many people are looking at or not many people will have used them yet, right? So this is definitely a good starting off point as well, but keep looking through the categories right here to find unique templates and different types of niches to target. They also have mock-ups, by the way. I don't think I went over this beforehand, but if you want to have a very specific mock-up, you can use one of these existing templates and then have it change the background or have it change the color of the t-shirt, whatever elements are within the scenery right here you can have it change that and then create your own custom mock-ups for your shop on top of that what you can do is if you found a mock-up that you like maybe you've made some changes to it or you just want to use it as is you can use the add image feature up here and then upload your design to the mock-up and very quickly you will have a customized mock-up to add to your shop so there we go that was super easy and now you can go ahead and export this just download as is if you want to see some more examples of me using playground ai to generate t-shirt designs for PUD, then make sure to check out this tutorial next.